Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province and the Kyungi Provincial Assembly have agreed to offer a Chuseok Holiday Economic Relief Incentive of up to 25% per provincial resident based on a local currency card reload of 200,000 Korean won. Referred to as the second economic quarantine measure, following the disaster basic income payment made in April, this relief incentive will be made through local currency. The 25% incentive consists of a 10% basic incentive plus an additional disbursement of 15% or up to 30,000 Korean won in local currency based on the actual amount spent. The 2020 Korea Basic Income Fair, an international event that Kyungi Province has been actively promoting to highlight principles of basic income, recently took place. This event was held online in a non-contact format via the associated website. This year's occasion saw a variety of events including an international conference featuring 27 scholars from 11 nations as well as a talk show and diverse cultural contents. During an informal meeting with housing specialists on September 3rd, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung described basic housing as a solution to prevailing real estate issues. Governor Lee also announced that the province will make Kyungi basic housing available to non-homeowners for occupation periods of up to 30 years and will supply 50% of the housing units to be constructed in upcoming third phase new town projects. Governor Lee also proposed that housing policies focus on maintaining supply-demand equilibrium and the taxation of unearned income while protecting single homeowners regardless of housing prices. On September 14th, Kyungi Province began receiving applications for youth job interview cost support for the second half of the year. Applications are being received via the Kyungi Province Employment Foundation website over three separate periods, from September 14th to October 16th, from November 2nd to 30th, and from December 14th to 31st. Considering the difficulties faced by youths, the province has eased application conditions through measures such as excluding the 30-hour workweek condition for applicable jobs. The aim of this support is to cover job interview costs for job seekers aged 18 to 39 who reside in the province. It will be paid in local currency in amounts up to 210,000 Korean won per person. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police recently uncovered 38 cases of unlicensed environmental business operations and sent all related operators to prosecution. The cases include licensed companies registering environmental facility installations and then assigning the actual work to unlicensed subcontractors at lower rates. Judicial police officials now plan to ask the central government to prepare regulatory provisions that will ensure that environmental facility installations and related work are only permitted for registered environmental enterprises. On September 3rd, Kyungi Province announced a plan to designate land transaction permit requirement zones for foreigners and foreign corporations. Announcing the plan during an online press conference, Provincial spokesperson Kim Hong-guk stated that zone designation details could be disclosed as early as October and that permits will only be required for purchases, not sales, which will effectively limit land purchase areas for foreigners. The announcement was labeled with the objective of deterring speculative real estate investment. Kyungi Province, Ansan City, and Hanyang University have succeeded in attracting a Kakao Data Center and Industry Academia Cooperation Facilities. Kakao plans to invest 400 billion Korean won in the construction of the data center and related facilities on a 18,383 square meter site on Hanyang University's Erika campus in Ansan City. With completion of construction slated for 2023, Kakao plans to hire research and data center personnel, thereby generating more employment. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.